subscribe to the channel. This is King Me. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. You know, like I always tell you, man, your thoughts create your reality. That's what you think. And I, I've been thinking that all my life, though. But what about if somebody else was creating them thoughts? You know, you thinking you're creating your own thoughts to make your own reality. That's what they told us, huh? That's what they been building in our hell in our heads forever. But what if somebody else was creating your thoughts? You ever thought about that? Well, I got a video. <laughs> Check this video out, man. Papa Duck. Subscribe to Papa Duck's channel, man. He's a smart individual, you know. We got to wake each other up, man. So that's a good thing. That's good. We, we're we waking up, you know, slowly but surely. But we're getting there, man. It only takes one person to wake up and everybody else to follow. King me. of this illusion. Do your thoughts serve to free you or simply to make you freely serve? Your thoughts are not your own. If you ever wonder why Americans are broke, depressed, and lifeless, look no further than whose thoughts they are thinking. If they are listening to the elite's financial conmen, they are constantly stripped of their wealth through a myriad of schemes. If they're listening to the elite's mainstream media, they are depressed about the national problems because they're too big and the experts say that there's no hope or worse, hope is coming someday. If they're listening to the elite's medical community, they're hooked on psychotropic drugs. They will never get their fire back by tackling their life's challenges. The elite give us the illusion of freedom, but control all of the choices. The elite give us the choice of 500 cable stations, and yet the same message comes from every one of those channels. They give us aisles and aisles of food, and yet 90% of it is just corn and soy byproducts. They give us the choice of hundreds of political candidates. Yet nothing changes because both sides are bought and paid for by the elite. They give you the choice of investment of stocks, bonds, and real estate. But when this all goes down, you will see that it's all part of the same illusion of the dollar. This paradigm is controlled by the elite. And if you don't think independently for yourselves, you cannot help but to be controlled, whether you know it or not. Every aspect of your life is monitored, regulated, taxed, and controlled. Not for your betterment, but for the betterment of others. To do most high-paying jobs requires a certification or a license. That's a form of control. Most assets that you have or own outright are not yours. Try not paying property taxes on a home that you own outright, and I'll show you who the real owner is. All your communications are monitored and recorded. Now the federal government wants these records to be kept indefinitely. Do you think you own your 401k? Try getting your money out. Or how about the stocks that you own outright? The fact is, the DTCC, the Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation, owns all of the stocks that are traded. If you want to do anything to your home, you better get permission from the homeowner association or the local zoning board. All these examples, plus many, many more, have nothing to do with making your life better. They exist to create power, profit, and a parasitic life for somebody else. Let's take a more detailed look at this. Our entire life is a rigged game designed to keep us down. We are fed consumerism, taught that we have no purpose, taught to obey, medicated with alcohol or drugs. Early pregnancy is glorified. Poor diets with fast food. Because of a poor education, people have a lack of vision. We have unhealthy relationships. We're entertained and not really educated. Divorce is a huge setback for many people. With this economy, we are faced with dead-end jobs, an entitlement mentality. We are trained to work for the government. People are saddled with credit card debt, auto debt, mortgage debt, student debt. People are driven to attain worthless diplomas, to become licensed professionals. And once they find some sort of success, they are marked with progressive taxation. They could become a legal target. If they create a business, they are forced to deal with increasing regulations and scrutiny. And then after they are all done, they are faced with the death tax. And regardless of what level of society that you're at, you're faced with federal debt, state debt, local debt, corporate bailouts, weak economy, bank failures, energy dependence, inflation, outsourced jobs, wars, political distractions, illegal immigrants, propaganda, popping of asset bubbles, genetically modified food, cancer, rising health insurance, and most dangerous of all, other ignorant people. At the root of all these traps, there is an elite that has created, perpetuated, and profited off of this reality. And yet, if people were truly to see how the world functions, 
they would see that the elite are unnecessary along with their traps. There are 7 billion people in this world. It is crazy to think that less than 10,000 people control this paradigm. Yet this is only possible when the elite convince the 7 billion people that, that they need the elite and the institutions that they run. Our problems start and stop with us. We are stronger than they are, and they know it. They lack any personal or relationship skills to work with others without the threat of force. Their most powerful weapon is the lie, the lie that they convince us to believe. Start seeing the world as it is and think for yourself.